Howdy fishing freaks, welcome to today's vlog. I'm not back at home yet. I'm still up in Dallas and I am basically taking this time to spend a little time with Ocean Spoon Girl before I head back down and go to the Bassmaster Classic and all that. I'm ready to get back on the water uh, with Old Red and, and do some lake fishing. But while I'm up here, I thought I'd uh, bring back some old memories and do a little pond fishing today. So before I get out there fishing, I just wanted to bring you a bit of good news. The good news is I will be working with Favorite Fishing this year. A lot of you are probably not strangers to Favorite Fishing. You've probably seen some of the rods on the other YouTubers' channels. So I was recently able to meet with them, get a behind the scenes look at the company itself and how it operates and really gave me three reasons why I wanted to join with Favorite. Number one is they listen. I think this outdoor industry needs a company like Favorite that listens at the ground level. They listen to you. They're very interested in uh, what I have to say, my opinions on, on Tackle and the other YouTubers, uh, which are ultimately listening to you guys. I mean, you guys always are asking, you know, what's the best rod and reel combo for this price? And this, what's the best rod for this and this and this? So we're gonna be working on all that. The second thing is they're a Christian faith-based company. Some of you may not care about that, but a lot of you hardcore fishing freaks already know. I'm not scared to talk about my faith. Um, it's something that uh, drives my, my life. And so I am very refreshed to hear of a company that's not scared to admit that and promotes that. Um, it's just a breath of fresh air. So I love that about them. Number three, it's the opportunity to ultimately create my own series of products. I've been wanting to create something for you guys for a long time and haven't had the means uh, necessary to do it. So that's been a goal of mine for many years and favorite gives me the opportunity to do that. Beyond that, I like the products. I've been able to fish a lot of the rod series, being around some of the other YouTubers for the last few months and I've been impressed with the balance and the weight of the rods. And there's a lot more stuff coming down the line with favorite. It's, there's a huge opportunity there. I think it's going to be a great thing for the industry and a great thing for us online anglers because they're listening to us and they're uh, going to provide what we want. So that's the exciting news. I just thought I'd let you know that. I will be going into more detail on, on rods and reels and all sorts of stuff uh, in my videos, my normal fishing videos as we go down the road here. Uh, but I just wanted to keep you updated, keep you up to date on the latest Fish and Freak news. Now it's time to get out on the water and I'm going to be fishing with some of the new rods. So let's get out there. Alrighty guys. Got a couple rods rigged up, got a spinnerbait, got a uh, little Texas rig, ring fry worm, and uh, gonna head down to this pond that I haven't fished since I was probably a teenager. It's tiny, tiny, but might have a few bass in it. Oh, start out with the old spinnerbait, even though it's bright and sunny. Not in love with the temperatures right now we've been having some really cold weather at night here in north texas the day is beautiful all right we'll walk around this bank here keep chunking slow down if we don't get any bites on the spinner i'm going to keep my eyes peeled around the bank for any potential spawners got him yeah, one on the spinner bait. <clears throat> Little guy. He's a bass though. There he is. Alrighty guys. First fish. That didn't take very long. Nice to know there's still bass living in here. This rod that I'm fishing right here, this is the Phantom series. This is the uh, the medium heavy right here you can fish a spinner bait with it you can fish a texas rig um, small jigs you can throw your weightless soft plastics on it you can do a lot with it and it's six six i actually got this to uh fish kayaks and, and ponds stuff like that but 
pretty cool too. Got the uh, got the LFG colors going on. A little uh, gray and black camo, and a little red accents on it. If you guys are looking for a rod like that, I'll uh, I'll leave the link in the description where you can check it out. It's one of the uh, lower priced favorite rods. There's another one. Oh, I lost him. Woohoo! He smoked it. You know, this is the only time of year where I'll fish spinner baits just in the middle of the day. There's something about that thump that they really like. Even when it's bright and sunny. Other times of the year, I don't I don't fish when it's bright and sunny like this. So I fish other baits, but springtime, they'll hit a spinner bait all day long. There's oh multiple bites going on right here. Okay, this is a light spinner bait, but since it's sunny, I think it's going a little too slow for them to really react to it. I like to reel it fast when it's bright like this. Don't give them a chance to second guess themselves. I'm willing to bet if I throw my little soft plastic worm out there, I'm probably going to get one of those bites. This pond's super small, but what you want to look for in, in ponds like this this time of year is the the flat ends so is there a flat end where the bass can go spawn all right so now i'm going to switch up to the this is a, a a zigzag lure it's basically a 10 inch worm with the tail curl tail cut off i got a light light little uh i think it's a 3 ounce weight on there with a four aught offset worm hook Oh yeah, this rod feels really good. There he is. Got him. Oh man, my drag is loose. <laughs> my drag was loose, so I had to literally run. I had to run to get that, keep that, uh, that hook in that fish. Oh, that's a nice fish for this pond. Luckily, I had braid on there, so didn't stretch as much. Oh. Oh, we got caught on some rope or something. There he is. There we go. So that was probably one of those fish I missed on that spinner bait. First cast with the with the worm tagged it. There we go. Not a bad fish. I'll, I'll take that fish all day long upon this size. There it goes. So worm rod, you definitely want a little something stiffer. I actually got this rod to be uh, be a jig rod, especially with the braid. It's got quite a bit of backbone on. This is a seven foot one heavy. That's what I like to throw jigs on. The big sexy. You know, anytime you got a, uh, a very light rod rigged up with braid, it's just, you just feel everything. That's, that's what I love. I'm really addicted to fishing that, that kind of setup but I'll use these uh, fluorocarbon leaders. I got a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader on here, so it's the best of both worlds. The fish can't see the fluorocarbon as well as the braid, but you still get all the sensitivity going on. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, there's another bite. Oh my gosh, guys. That, oh, that almost felt like a uh, a bedding bass bite just picked it up really quick it moved and then dropped it i was about to drop the hammer on that fish but let it go all right watch out ducks all right. mm, excuse me nice little overflow drain there it's got to have some stuff sucked up next to it a lot of times what happens right there is oh yeah there's a fish I oh, missed him I missed him a lot of times what happens there is you get when you get a rain or flood you get stuff that washes up next to these drains it gets piled up there and creates a nice little habitat for the bass to hide in so I think I I hit a I hit something hard right before I got that bite. Yeah, there we go. 
Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Smoked it. That's not a bad one. Look at him go. That's a pretty fat one there. Come here, baby. Oh yeah. You wouldn't expect to catch a bass like that at a pond this small. Look at that. The fish is not spawned yet. Fat, healthy fish. That's beautiful right there. All right, we'll let this fish go. Get back to doing his thing. See you there, babe. Very nice, very nice. Hardly had to set the hook on that. Felt like a ton of bricks when it hit it because I only had like 30 feet of line out. Fishing that 50 pound braid and this rod, these, uh, this big sexy is really light. So you can feel all the bites on it. And all I had to do is just kind of lean back into that fish. It's a beautiful thing about braid. You just don't have to set the hook very hard. Puts less stress on your on your line, your equipment, when you just lightly set the hook. That is what you fish a Texas rig for right there, that, that kind of big thump. Love it. There's another one. Ugh. I was being lazy and I sat down. Not as big, still, still a great thump. Oh wow, I got him on the outside of the mouth. Crazy. Not a bad fish, we'll let him go. I can't believe how many fish I've caught out of here. That's, uh, that's four fish out of this tiny little pond and they're not bad. We're gonna need to uh, knock a nub off the top here. Save ourselves some money from buying some more of these. Re-rig it right there, there we go. Old school frugal fisherman trick. Good to go again. See if I can get one more bite out of here. Ah. Just have a seat. Enjoy the beautiful day. Nice calm conditions where I can see every single bite on my on my Texas rig. It's awesome. Alright. That'll do. That'll do for this pond. I gotta tell you guys, if you're going pond fishing in the spring, this is a great one-two punch right here. You get yourself a little spinner bait, you know, either a 3 16 to a one or a uh, three eighths, then get yourself a light Texas rig, um, you know, 3 16 quarter ounce with a stick bait on it, or even throw it weightless, and you're gonna do some damage. You find your fish with the spinner bait, and then you slow down, you crush them with the Senko extra time with the fam it's always good look at that who wouldn't who would want to be around that i certainly do i certainly do we just love you hmm. say hey fishing freaks hey hey fishing freaks that's going to do it for today's video guys thanks for being freaks of fishing i certainly enjoy being a freak of the fishingness but i was really surprised to see that after like 12 years i went back to this pond and there's still bass in it, like really good bass and it's tiny and I thought that was pretty neat. It was good to test out the new rods. Uh, if you guys have any questions, um, let me know in the comments. I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Thanks for coming along for this adventure and we'll see you on the next video guys. Later.